Hey everybody, I wanted to spend a little bit of time with you, um, introducing you to the idea of pressure and how to perform some um, conversions in order to um, set us up to be able to use uh, pressure in the ideal gas law. And so before we do that, I do want to define what um, what pressure is, and it's basically um, the force that something applies over some sort of air, uh, some sort of surface, and then. In this case, let's let's just know that um, the thing that is applying the force are molecules, and the area is typically the inside of some sort of container. And so, I'm going to draw a really bad balloon here. Okay, and then it's got a it's got a ribbon that comes down here. And here's a gas mole. Here's four gas molecules. Well, those molecules will be moving and because they're moving they're going to ram into the inside of the balloon and when they ram into the inside of the balloon that exerts a pressure and that pressure is what keeps the balloon blown up to a certain size okay you add more molecules more molecules exert more pressure make the balloon bigger okay and so that's the idea of pressure and how it applies to gas laws okay and so the symbol for pressure is p okay anytime you see p um it is uh, universally indicate universally taken to mean pressure and then these three conversion factors are the most common ones that you'll see and i do want to point out these two notice that one atmosphere of pressure is equal to 760 tor and it's also equal to 760 millimeters of mercury. It turns out that Torricelli, which is the Italian guy that did some um, gas law stuff, he got a unit named after him and that unit was a millimeter of mercury. So they kind of changed um, <laughs> millimeters of mercury to tor, but people know it as millimeters of mercury. Sometimes you'll see weather reports um, and they won't give you millimeters of mercury, but they'll give you inches of mercury. So that's kind of interesting. Um, so let's do some conversions using those um, and using those conversion factors. And I will pull up my calculator here. Um, and let's set this up. So now we want to go from 32 atmosphere to tor. And so let's keep in mind that any time we want to do a conversion, we're going to start with the number given. ATM, and we're going to do an X line. I call it an X line. You get to thank uh, my colleague next door to me that showed me the name of that. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to put the unit that we're trying to get rid of at the bottom, and then we're going to convert it to Tor. And now we can go back and we can see, hey, look, one atmosphere equals 760 Tor. And so we write that in there. One atmosphere is 760 Tor. And now we do that math. And when we do that math, it's 32 times 760. And that, oh, <laughs> helps if I do that. So 32 times 760. And that equals, and I have my calculator in scientific mode, so that's 2.4, um, 2 sig figs, so we're going to have 2 sig figs, times 10 to the 4th, and the units on that is Tor. Okay, great. <laughs> Must be the end of the screen there, okay? Now, 8.95 millimeters of mercury to atmospheres. Okay, so we set up the problem just the same. Take the number that we're trying to convert, 895 millimeters of mercury, okay, times, and we put millimeters of mercury on the bottom, and I'm sure you have written down an atmosphere on the top. You have written down somewhere the conversion factor, so you know that one atmosphere is 760 millimeters of mercury and so again we put this in our calculator 895 we don't have to multiply by one okay we don't have to go times one but we're going to divide by 760 and when we do that we get one point and there's three sig figs so we're going to do 1.18 atmospheres the symbol for atmospheres is atm okay 
Now, 6.7 atmospheres to pascals. You'll see pascals probably less than these other ones because pascals just isn't a popular um, unit to report temperature in. Or to, <laughs> it's definitely not a popular unit for temperature. It's not a popular unit for pressure, though. Okay, so seven, uh, 6.7 atmospheres. We're going to set up our X line. We're going to put atmospheres at the bottom, and we put pascals at the top, and we know that it's 101,325 pascals. And so to do this, we do 6.7 times 101,325, and we get an answer equal to 6. Point, let's see, we have two sig figs, so this is 6.8 times 10 to the fifth and then the unit is pascals okay so that's conversion and that's pressure so have fun with that